As much as we wanted to stay longer at Devil's Tower, the heat ultimately drove us to look for cooler weather. Call it a blessing or a curse, we tend to be at the mercy of Mother Nature, living on the road full time. So, with 100 plus degree temps on the horizon, we sought out higher elevation in nearby Bighorn National Forest. And boy, what a special place we were about to find. <laughs> so awesome, the boy's carrying the water. I love it. How are we everybody in my family? That's right, buddy. You guys are doing great. Mom. Oh, you pick them on my flower? Yep. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, the one right by the 
for me? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. How sweet. Thank you. I did. How? Oh, sorry. I got this for you. Awesome. I'll put it right here. Yeah. Logan, the whole just for you, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. What you think, boys? Hmm? We think the waterfall. Cool. Yeah. You having fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you doing, Logan? <laughs> you crazy, Bo. Sometimes he's so you eating? Mm-hmm. Sometimes he's Hungry. so crazy and annoying, I feel like I can just punch him in the face. That's not nice. found us a nice little camp spot here. This place is absolutely beautiful. We're in the uh, Bighorn National Forest.
Okay. Okay, go pee back there. Okay. Sit down right here. Can get me some pine cones? Well, we'll throw me some pine cones.
Can you put those gloves back on the bottom? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Put the pan on there. But Dad, I didn't need you to. You know. You're talking. Let's do. No. Then me as you will. Oh, you excited? What are we having, Logan? What are we having? Pizza. Pizza. Come <laughs> uh, on! You, I need some help with trash, bro. Okay. Oh. You gonna go throw that away in the black bag? Yeah. Thanks, Logan. Be careful in the bag, Ham. There's barbed wire. Be very careful. Don't touch anything else in there. Okay. Now can I cook some? I want you to cook. Okay, here. Start. Hold it. Careful. Yep. Let's check that. this. Why? <laughs> what do you think, Jenny? Wow. Um, wow. A little bit longer. Okay. Careful. Yep. Man, Logan, you're stirring good, son. We got you a new job. <laughs> Logan's a stirrer. Okay. Right, Luke. Stir a little bit, Mama. There he is. Oh, the grand stir is here. A little bit of tomato paste. Let's see if we can stir this without ruining the top of it. Hope we don't. Mm -hmm. don't know what to do this with pizza sauce, but we don't have any because I wasn't planning on doing an oven, I mean a campfire pizza like this. Dutch oven. That's okay. We'll make it work. You know yeah. what happens when we cook on the fire, boys? It always tastes like. better. It tastes so good. I don't know what it is, but it's, the ash. it's delicious. Dad, it's the ash. It's yeah. all ash blowing up there and landed in. Think so? Could be. I know. Or is it just a mental thing? No, I think it, it really tastes better. Alright, you got ah! it. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. 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 Here you Right in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. 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 Alright, you don't. What? Right here. I got a little taste of the pizza. Watch out. That's. Oh, wait! Yeah. Oh. Okay. I want to decorate some with all. They were with our and boy with that our. No. Aww. Baby, it'll be fine, I promise. I don't like it. Well, then we'll pick them off for your side and give them all to your brother. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Right. 
That's looking delicious. Boys, get out of the way. <laughs> Not in the way. Come here. Not gonna do it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, it's looking so good. You know it goes on top, right? What? Fundamental. Maybe it's so good, Dad. Maybe it's just the ash getting into the food. So you think why it tastes good? Yeah. The ash from the wood. I bet you it is. I bet I know how a dirty take it, Dad. Because of the power. Because of the element? Yeah. Yeah, I think it just heats differently. It's yeah, different. it heats evenly. Me too. And it's hotter or something, cooks. I think it's oh. the ash. Right. The smoke in it. Oh. Yeah, the ash getting in and it smoke. Wait, why are we putting it back on there? Cross could cook for just a little bit longer. Do we need to lift it up and stir some coals up underneath? Ah, it's looking better. Good. Okay, I should be able to slide this right on out. Oh, really? Is it going? Pizza. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. You know, everything over the campfire tastes better, right? Definitely. Delicious. Yeah. Time for another one. Yep. Time. Mmm.
something greater so back in like petroglyph days right it was I think a picture of the sign there um, it was built back it was built back in what well, I'm trying to read it between 1217 AD is when it's estimated that it was constructed Supposed to resemble kind of like the walk of life what and the sun. What Jenny, what is this? Wheel? This is the medicine wheel. Well, it. <laughs> it resembles a medicine wheel. It was built between 1200 and 1700 AD. And it's kind of like a labyrinth of sorts where the center is like the center of energy and vibes. I think there's some people that believe it's like the sun and then the spokes are kind of like different walks of life and people have left little prayer flags you can see them all tied up along the uh, ropes here there's offerings and stuff in the center so it's supposed to be a place where you can come and make a wish say a prayer meditate feel some good energy vibes we're up on the top of medicine mountain and well, I guess that's the really top up there. That's almost 10,000 feet, but we're pretty darn close here. So to think that way back in, you know, 1200, 1700 AD, humans got up here without any modern technology. There's no cars to drive them up here on foot or by horse, you know, what have you. Still, it's impressive nonetheless. And that the stone 
is evidence of life back then. No! Yeah! <laughs> Put it down his pants. He keeps throwing shell holes at me. We're gonna show him who's boss. Mm. Down his pants, down his pants. <laughs> Right, good morning we found a uh, campsite late last night but we're here at Bighorn National Forest and this place is beautiful so many places to camp scenery like behind me is just it's just unreal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get packed up we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go check out this lake and then we're gonna go down to Sheridan. We got some things to do in town. And then we're gonna make our way back up into Bighorn. I think I've fallen in love with this place. Bighorn National Forest is absolutely stunning. I feel like this is one of Wyoming's best kept secrets. Now we haven't made it out to Yellowstone yet or the Tetons and I can only imagine what's ahead of us but this place I'm just content being here. I mean the smell of the pines is so refreshing and clean. I think it's one of my favorite smells in the earth. Um, I'm just very thankful for the time that we've been able to explore here. Around every corner and every road takes us down somewhere new, fun, and exciting to explore. Now we got into a bit of a sticky situation yesterday. Um, we took a wrong turn, if you will, down a Forest Service road, which really wasn't our fault. It was by accident. Gaia had it marked as a regular um, Forest Service road open to all vehicles and I don't think you should take all vehicles down that road that we went down It was rocky. It was bumpy. It was steep 
and I think we really tested the limits of what Big Red was capable of, albeit by accident. It's kind of good to know what she can handle, um, but I wouldn't want to do it again. So thankfully we made it out of that unscathed. Unfortunately we didn't get any footage of it. It was just a high stress situation, but we made it out okay. Kurt ended up having to spot me driving the van. I was having to double foot it. <laughs> Maybe, I think my foot was shaking a little bit. Um, I'm just glad that we made it out. But now we're here at Park Reservoir and we're going to walk around a little bit, enjoy the scenery, and then we're going to go head back into town, stock up, refuel, see if we can find us a cool treat. I hear there's some wonderful ice cream at Kendrick Park in Sheridan, Wyoming. So we're going to go check that out and then head back into the forest. Around every turn, and each forest road that we ventured down, Bighorn had something epic to offer. The road down the mountains and into town was no exception. With an elevation change of over 3,000 feet in a matter of miles, the descent down was no joke, but at the same time, we were rewarded with epic views. And not too soon after, we also rewarded ourselves with a cool treat. So after a little playtime and a quick store run to restock our food, fuel, and supplies, we found ourselves back in the forest in no time at all. Once again, we were void of cell service, void of the city noise, and perfectly content to be just among ourselves in Mother Nature. Thank 
All right, that's gonna wrap up this video where you found a nice little camp spot here on a four service road. The wife's making some fish tacos, so we're gonna enjoy those. Next video coming up will be Hot Springs and probably Yellowstone. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to like, and we'll see you on the next one.